More than 130,000 migrants have entered Italy so far this year, almost double the same time last year. Many will end up here on the Riviera dei Fiori, hoping it will be their last stop before reaching France, a country which does not want them. Every morning, hundreds wait outside this aid centre. While it's mostly young men, there are families and children. They're offered a hot meal before they head off. Many will attempt to cross the border today. Aima is from Sudan. He arrived in Italy 16 days ago. The route most often attempted rattles right by them. Commuter trains depart Ventimiglia for France every few minutes. Koulibaly is waiting in the station, ready to jump on board at the last possible moment. Two weeks earlier, the 18-year-old from Mali was one of thousands of migrants to arrive on the Italian island of Lampedusa. Now he's preparing for what he hopes will be the final leg of his journey. Alger, Alger, Tunisie. La mafia euh, ont pris le refoulement pour nous faire retourner. On était venus jusqu'à Gardaïa. Given what he's experienced already, he's not that worried about European police. Italian officers do little to prevent migrants leaving. But when the trains stop at the first station across the border, French police immediately board and ask for identity papers. They didn't want us to film them. On this train alone, four migrants were detained. Most are processed before being sent back to Italy. This happens dozens of times a day. Others will try to walk along the train tracks despite the risks. <laughs> Some migrants attempt to cross the border using this track. It's known locally as the Pass of Death. It goes down into a very deep valley and then you have to climb up the side of a very steep mountain. And because it's monitored so closely by French authorities, it's a journey that's usually undertaken at night. The path is littered with items discarded by those who've walked it. Refugee charities believe 47 migrants have died in the region since France first suspended parts of the Schengen Free Movement rules eight years ago. Uh, the French police is kind of harsh in, when it comes to uh, pushback people. Uh, we have witnessed a lot of illegal practices and uh, bad manners, I would say, uh, but this will not uh, prevent people from, from coming. They will just keep on trying. This is what we witness every day. The French border policy has been criticised by the European Court of Justice. Judges say pushbacks should only be used as a last resort. Ventimiglia's mayor agrees. He's from the hard right Lega Party. Secondo me non è giusto. Questi immigrati per lo più sono francofoni. Molti hanno le famiglie in Francia, hanno la possibilità di integrarsi in Francia piuttosto che in Italia. Compito del sindaco è l'ordine pubblico, la sicurezza. Il fenomeno migratorio purtroppo non comporta un'integrazione, comporta risse, delinquenza, alcolismo, degrado, illegalità. Residents we spoke to had sympathy for the plight of migrants but felt it was not fair their small city should bear the burden of caring for them. Sono troppi, troppi, 20 miglia è piccolo perché la Francia poi arrivano là e buttano fuori, non li vogliono, capisce? Non vogliono stare qui, loro vogliono solo andare dove hanno i parenti e gli amici e siccome le colonie erano francesi e inglesi è giusto che vanno lì, il motivo è solo quello. Some will make it across. The border is simply too long to police in its entirety. But they will quickly be replaced by others arriving in Ventimiglia, the waiting room.
for the rest of Europe. Ben Lewis, SBS World News.